Okay, first let's take a look at the touchdown client. You can notice that it's the uh, task manager icon there. Pull up the about so you can see the version it's running. Oh, that's strange. I swore I had 55 on that last night. That's a little odd. Okay, um, take a look at the settings. Update contact changes to phone. Enable contact syncing with Google. Let's jump out. Here's the HTC supplied people thing. Now you can see there is the group that you're expecting with the 246 contacts in there. But what I've been talking about is this, which I assume must be different. Google, phone, and then there's also, when you have Exchange Define, there's also an Exchange grouping, and then you can tell it, you know, which ones to show in co during conflicts and that kind of stuff. So that's something you might have to look out for. All right, now if I go into settings for the phone, data synchronization and stuff, you'll see that I have the the sync off, but if I were to sync now, those contacts are going to go up to Google. So that's why I don't really quite understand what the purpose of this setting is because those are all in the Google thing, so it looks like they're going to sync. Maybe I'm wrong. Let's just check that out. There's no contacts on the Gmail account now, so this should take no time to sync nothing if nothing were going up. It looks like it's going to go for a while. Okay, so it looked like that worked. The sync went through and uh, the web-based Gmail client is still showing no contact. So it um, looks like that's actually working. So you may not actually have a problem at all. Uh, it's just a little bit confusing uh, the way the Hero software works. Just to test it though, I'm going to enable this and save it and I'll do another sync just to make sure they do come across properly. Okay, that sync went through really quickly and as I suspected the contacts are not on the Gmail account now. Let's do this again. So just to reiterate the uh, okay that sync's done already. So we've got touchdown running and it's set to update and enable contact syncing with Google so it didn't work right then and there. It's still not syncing with Google. Uh, I'm not sure if I have to wipe them before wipe them and start over and recopy them before doing this or whatever but it's either way it's it's kind of confusing and it doesn't seem to be working at this point. Um, at least not I didn't do the procedure right or something. So it's a uh, that's that. Let's see if we can pull up the DSTL1 just so you can see what it looks like on the wide QVGA display. Okay, here's touchdown on the DSTL1. You can see I'm running the latest beta, uh, 0055. Just so you can see what some of the stuff looks like. If we pull up the more menu here from the inbox, you can see that the move to any folder indicators cut off so you actually can't tell you tap it multiple times or whatever and you can't tell what the status is unless you actually look at the application and see what the behavior is um, random message the shake works go into the settings just so take a quick look where's the keyboard See some things get cut off, but uh, still usable in general. Everything looks pretty good otherwise.
the photo problem there wasn't yours. That was from another device that screwed it up. Running out of battery. Task list. And uh, everything looks pretty good otherwise.